Kia ora and welcome to Extra Time. Pity we're halfway through Super Rugby, nine rounds deep. Now, um, I guess you would have picked the Crusaders to be at the top, but the rest of the comp's pretty much up in the air, isn't it? Yeah, well, how good was their uh, game on Friday, you know, against the Highlanders? Um, Highlanders, you know, started really well. Yeah. Um, we were basically holding them to, or had the lead at the start, and then second half came along and the floodgates opened. And yeah, but I second mean, half specialists say the Crusaders last week against the Brumbies, they were trailing as well, and just to come back and just storm to the victory. It's almost like they sort of set themselves up so that you know they can under, uh, get a good gauge of mm. what uh, what the opposition's uh, throwing at them, and then yeah. come second half they figured it all out and just. Rampant. Yeah. Rampant. And so, mate, that, that um, game yeah. on Friday night, it was um, notable for a few things, but one thing in particular was Ben Smith, absolute legend, of course, playing his 150th game. And it took him about 150 seconds to get on the board, didn't it, with this try? Congrats, Bender. Nah, was, you know, Bender's always uh, chanced his arm at uh, first receiver. And mm. uh, nah, he's a good little dummy, probably a little bit of obstruction uh, yeah. there, but uh, he got away with it. And, uh, you know, how good is it to. Uh, Get to meet Brian, your uh, you know, 150th game. Yeah. Um, although he didn't get the result that he wanted, yeah. but uh, you know, to get uh, to 150 caps uh, for one franchise is uh, unbelievable. Pretty incredible. And I mean, it was a great first half from the Highlanders, but the Crusaders just stormed home, as we said. And we're going to show this try. One of the key things with the Crusaders has been the offloading that's led to tries. And um, Sever Reese, um, one of the best. I mean, we saw a great one from but earlier earlier this year, but this from Reese was pretty special, wasn't it? Oh, I just seen that there was no one down the short side and then had mm. have the pace to uh, boost, uh, boost it and then look how good that timing was. The weight on that ball, <laughs> was, eh? We were sitting up there for quite a bit. So it was Drummond pretty good. was about 20 metres behind <laughs> him, wasn't he? I think Drummond must have thought that he was going to be uh, be fast enough to get there yeah. <laughs> and then uh, realise that, oh, hang on, I've got to get, get there. But uh, to be at the, on the end of that, receiving mm. end of that uh, beautiful uh, offload from uh, Reese is, is yeah. good. Pretty special, mate. Um, so, yeah, look, Crusaders have a huge lead at the top. It's really the chasing pack now. And the Chiefs are now in that race as well. Um, they beat the Blues. Great game, to and fro. But it opened up with another halfback scoring. Tell us about this read from Brad Webber. Oh, he must have seen that they were trying something uh, with the nine wrapping. So, mm. uh, made a judgment call and it paid off. Dividends, like, no one's there. Yeah. No yeah, one yeah. expected him to read that. Yeah. And, uh, or was no awesome. fullback as well. He just went for it. No yeah. winger. But you could just see here, like in the slow mo, that he's mm. uh, come up early on the inside just to make sure that he cuts off that pass and it's worked for him. And, you know, JP's probably think, but thinking to himself, damn it, I probably should have just held that. Does that count as a try assist for JP though? Oh. <laughs> Does that count as stats? <laughs> You take it. You, it take, does, it for, you, take, it, you take it for the stats, eh? <laughs> uh, mate, and um, Blues. So they were struggling a bit in that first half. It was 14-3, time up on the clock, and they showed how good they are this year. A lot of composure to score time up, and this was a nano out wide, but real team effort. This one. I think it was just you know, obviously getting off the, from the from the, the set piece, the strike, uh, is is uh, key to this, and then being able to move the ball. I mean, defence is moving back, yeah. but I mean, if you look at that. Carl's uh, basically tipped that ball to um, Paddy. Paddy's actually given it back to him on the ground. He's backed mm. up. Instead of cleaning out, he's actually backed up, received yeah. the ball and given it to TJ Fayani and then mm. the pass to uh, Nanai. I'm not too sure what he's up to at that the end. Finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> made sure that the yeah. try was uh, made proper. He, he got it down not in the end, but he, he, yeah, yeah, he worked for it. He worked exactly. for that try. <laughs> but uh, I mean, they got they got the try in the end. I mean, it's good to see how uh, those boys are working really well uh, when they get good uh, momentum, um, you know, yeah. especially off the front foot. It's always good. And now Blues Highlanders um, come out this week. That's going to be a huge game down another, south, isn't it? Another yeah. derby. It's going to be ding -dong uh, battle real there. bad. Yeah, yeah. It's going to get a real bad. What are we doing? Now? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've had the haircut. My hair, I think my hair's done. It's not been touched yet. <laughs> now, mate, we're going to show one more play from the weekend. Um, I don't think anyone picked this. Yeah, Guare's absolutely pumped the Sharks. 51 17. Cross with seven tries. Oh, no, I didn't pick them. I picked the Sharks, I think, because it mm. was in Durban. Uh, and you would never have uh, expected that. But I mean, yeah. Pablo's, what, a six? A big six too. He's not <laughs> a small fella. And he's basically yeah. uh, done the old chip and chase uh, over the yeah. uh, the team left, there. Left foot. And uh, he's had enough time to pick it up yeah. off the off the deck. And, and a dodgy uh, bounce too. Oh. You know, it's it just I mean, everything just, from it. It's just good. Uh, good for uh, the Hagawaris. You know, yeah. you can see the development. It's uh, helped uh, mm. with their skill set. 
yeah. um, you know, playing in, in, in a good comp and all those boys, um, you know, uh, can understand what, what the, the type of rugby is, is mm. like in the Super Rugby. So it's, it's good to see that the Hagwaris are doing really well. And we say um, in this comp, anyone can beat anyone. And that's so true in South Africa. We're lines at the bottom now. Your guide has moved to third. Bulls at the top. Sharks were top last week. It's just like that conference is really exciting, eh? I think just the whole comp in, in general, you know, mm. bring the Crusaders back down. Where we yeah, were yeah, it's just the <laughs> Crusaders, isn't it? Aside from them, everyone's. Oh, oh. Yeah. But I mean, how, I mean, it's it's really really interesting to see other teams doing really well, not just you know, um, you know, one sort of franchise uh, or yeah. not franchise um, comp. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely, it's pretty exciting stuff and um, catch all the action in round 10 and we'll be back here next week to chat about it again. Hey team, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can watch exclusive video behind the scenes, Super Rugby, All Blacks, Black Ferns, everything, all the rugby action you want and where do they go to get this? Oh, right down here. There, subscribe right now.